Hi everybody, Kylie Cologne here, and I wanted to show you um, how I create labels for our new fall winter um, products. These are, um, the what I'm gonna show you right now are products that I am putting in Lacan. So I'm creating round labels for them. Um, and the paper that I use is not actually an Avery label, it's just a sticker sheet that's in an eight and a half by 11 size. So the, um, the template that I use from Avery to create these is for label 6450. Um, this is just one that creates one inch labels uh, at a full page. So I like to make a variety of samples on my full page. You'll need a one inch punch to punch these out. So you can find those at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any kind of craft store. I'm sure you can probably order it online through Amazon also. So uh, I have products here that I have samples made up of already. So I'm going to be creating labels for Girl Crush, for Blissed Out, and for Sugar Mama. And so I wanted to show you how to do that. So um, once you have the product template open in Avery.com, it, you want to, it's going to automatically be selected to edit all. You want to switch that over to edit one so that you're editing individual labels versus the whole sheet of labels at a time. Now, if you were going to make one whole sheet of the same label, so say I was going to do a whole sheet of Girl Crush, then you could leave it at edit all. But because I'm going to make three different labels, I'm going to do edit one. Once you've done that, you're going to um, before you get started, you want to be sure that you have the images already saved. You can save them from the box. You can save them from your website directly. Um, the labels in the box for the, um, the circle labels, I don't particularly like them because they don't say exactly what the product is. It'll just say the name of the product. So for example, it just says Girl Crush. It doesn't say this is a body butter. It doesn't have any description about the scent. So what I like to do is use the image from the actual website. That is the actual um, lid to the product. And then I just resize this accordingly so that it's only going to show and print the pink part. I don't want the black circle to print. So I'm going to size it out and um, make it so that it fits. If you have a little bit of a black edge, that's okay. It's totally your preference. So once I have this size the way I would like for it to be sized, I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna go to the next circle and I'm gonna hit Control V. And I'm gonna do this for as many labels as I want to create for Girl Crush. Okay, so then I am ready to make my next product. And oops, I did not mean to hit that. Uh, so I'm gonna go back over here to images, add image, and I'm gonna add my next product, which will do blissed out. So same thing, you're going to size the product so that only the portion that you want to show is within this circle. Okay, and once you have it sized the way you would like, you're gonna again hit Control C, and then come over here to your next little bubble and hit Control V, and copy and paste. Is a little time consuming, but the beautiful thing about Avery is once you've done this once, you can save it, and then you can reprint them anytime. All right, so now we're gonna do the last one. Go back over here to images, add image, browse. Now these are already, I've already saved them, so I did a little work ahead of time. Again, you're gonna size your image out so that just the part is showing that you want to show. This is like the most tedious part. 
is sizing and adjusting. Okay. So once that looks good, control C, and you're just going to go along. Oops. And do the rest of them. All right. So once you have that done, you're going to come up here and you're going to go to preview and print. And it's going to give you a preview of what your circles are going to look like. Now remember, I'm doing this on sticker paper. You can purchase the Avery labels and print them on the actual sticker label paper. I just happen to have sticker paper already here, so I'm using what I have. Um, but you want to look at it and make sure that it looks okay that nothing's like wonky or maybe you missed one or anything. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and say, print it yourself. And if you only want to print, say you only want to print the girl crush, you can print from label number one all the way down to label number 21 because there's seven in a row. So if you just wanted to print those, you could just print those. Or if you wanted to just print blissed out, you could print um, just the rest of it, okay? But we're gonna print all, and then you're gonna say print now. I always recommend saving because it allows you to save it to your Avery account. If you have an Avery account, which is free, you should have an Avery account. Um, and so I'm gonna name this Fall Winter 16 round labels and hit save it'll save it to your Avery account online that way it's not taking up space on your computer sometimes this part takes a little bit of time or a lot of bit of time. <laughs> I feel like we need Jeopardy music. And it's still not done, all right. So, okay, so my product has finally been saved. I say okay. And this right here is very important. You want to make sure you read this screen before you just hit open. It's telling you to print successfully to be sure that you are unchecking fit to page on the Chrome print dialog. So if you're using Chrome and you go to the print screen, you want to make sure that this fit to page box is unchecked because you're going to be printing a PDF um, and it's going to print incorrectly if you don't uncheck that box. So you hit open. We come over here, oh, we want to make sure that box is unchecked, and when you uncheck it, then it's going to print correctly. Um, I'm not currently hooked up to my printer, but that doesn't matter to you. Then you would go ahead and press print, and it will go ahead and print out for you. I hope that helps. If you guys have any other questions uh, regarding making your own labels, please leave a comment down below. If you liked this video and it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.